Hello everyone, this is our Install the Power Connector video. This is going to be a two-part video. The first part, we're going to install the power connectors on the motherboard. Step one, we need to align our 24-pin connector with the socket on the motherboard. There's our socket, and here's our 24-pin connector. But step one, aligning it means we need this clip to connect on the outside of that connector. So we can go ahead and we can align it with that connector. Now that it's aligned, step two, we're going to gently press down on the connector until that clip locks into place. As we press down, you hear it click into place. Step three, we need to align our four pin power connector for auxiliary power on the motherboard, which we'll see here also has a clip with its corresponding connector on the motherboard. To align it, I'll just drop it in on top. And then, step four, we're going to gently press down on that connector until it clicks into place. And now it clicked into place. Step five, we need to take our CPU fan with its power connector right here. And we need to align this correctly, which you'll see the little slot here. We need to align that correctly with the actual CPU fan slot on the motherboard, which is right here. Step six, we're going to gently press down on it and put it in place. It doesn't click, it just slides in, and we are done. In part two of our video, we're going to install the power connector for our SATA hard drive. Now this is our two and a half inch solid state hard drive. On the back, we're going to have a data port and a power port. So we can take a zoom in here and see a closer view. The larger port here is going to be the power connector. And this is going to be our 15 pin SATA power connector. So step one, we're going to take our power connector that's going to attach to the drive. And here's what it looks like right here. And we can see it's keyed in a specific way, so you cannot install it upside down. And we need to align it correctly with the SATA hard drive. When we have it aligned correctly, we can take it and line it up right here. And step two is we're going to gently push it in until it's fully seated. Awesome. Now that we have the SATA 15-pin power connector installed, we're going to install the power connector for our case fan. This is going to be a three pin power connector that we'll connect to on the motherboard. The power connector looks exactly like this. It's got a spot for three pins. The connector on the motherboard that we're going to hook it to is right below here and it is brown. We'll zoom in and take a closer look at that power connector. So as you see right here, that's going to be the three pin power connector and we're going to connect it in. Step one, we need to align the power connector to the motherboard. Again, this power connector has a slot, just like we saw previously for the CPU fan. So step two, we're going to press it in gently now that we have it aligned. And that is what it looks like when it is installed correctly. Thank you for watching our installing the power connectors video.